Our next talk is presented by UC Pakanen, who's going to talk about the fastest build system in the world. Right. Good, uh, good afternoon. So my name is Jussi Pakkanen, and there's my contact information. And uh, Mesen is a build system that I've been working on for about a year now. And whenever I talk to people that I'm working on a build system, they always say the same thing. Why should I care? Because I already have my existing system and I know how to use it, so I'm, that's all the same. And there is a very good reason for this. It's also, also the previous talk talked on that, which is compile speed. And then when you say this, the next response is, Build speed is compiler limited, so it doesn't matter what build system you use because that's the hotspot is the compiler. But this is really the case. So I took the uh, code base of glib and I rewrote the build system in, in Meson syntax. It's originally in order tools. And then you can do a test where you have a build of it, and then you touch gstdio.c, which is a file in the glib.so file, and then you rebuild. Now, if you do this with auto tools, and this, these all tests are run on a, like a four-core MacBook Pro, and there's the commands, and there's the time it takes 23 seconds to compile all the stuff. Now, if you do the same with Meson, it takes 0.2 seconds. And this is 100 times faster. And this is why you should care which build system you use, because there's actually quite a bit of benefit getting from there. Uh, it's not done with Ccache or, or MD5 has of, of things or anything like that. So what actually happens? So basically, usually what you have is something like this. You have the source files, and you compile them into a shared library, and then you link those into your executables, which are usually test executables. Now, um, the thing is that when you should relink, it doesn't depend on the timestamp of the library. It doesn't even depend on the contents of the library. What it depends on is that whether the symbols that are exported by the shared library actually change. And if they don't change, then you don't have to relink. And this is what Meson does, is that uh, it takes out the symbol list from every shared library, puts it in a separate place, and then when you recompile, it checks, oh, did they change? And if they didn't change, then you can just skip all the link steps. Uh, I stole this from LibreOffice, and they stole it from Chromium. Um, I don't know who Chromium stole it from, maybe they invented it themselves. So this, this is actually in use now in the LibreOffice build system, in the Chromium build system, yeah, so it's, it's actually reliable and it works. Um, build systems always also have kind of overhead. Anyone who's ever run a configure script can know that, but let's go a bit deeper than that. So um, if you have a checkout of Clang, and it uses CMake to build, and if you have it compiled, and then you just type make again, with, with no changes at all, uh, it takes about 50 seconds for make to check that nothing has actually changed and doesn't need to do anything. So whenever you do anything, it's 50 seconds before you get any results, or 25 seconds if, you, if it happens in the, in the middle. Now, May, uh, CMake has a Ninja backend, and Ninja is a like, very super fast version of Make, um, and this takes less than one second. It was written by the people working on Chromium. And for this reason, Mesin doesn't have a backend. It will never have a backend, because Make is intolerably slow. And yeah, but uh, here's a free tip. So if your project is currently using CMake, use the Ninja backend. You just dash G Ninja when you run CMake, then you get the Ninja backend, and you don't have to change any of your code, and it's just faster. Um, another other technique that can be used is pre-compiled headers. Uh, this is especially for C++ if you have template stuff. Uh, GCC has had support for this for like years and years now and Clang, and also Visual Studio. And Mesin provides support, native support, with, on all these platforms. This is, as far as I can tell, this is the first time this has ever been done. JIP may have this, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, so how would you use that? Uh, okay, so first, just the kind of speed ups that you can do. Boost Python is, is uh, notorious for being quite slow. Uh, this uh, test, which I was working on, uh, it has about 20 lines of actual code, and then it just includes boost uh, Python, and just compiling this one file took 7.6 seconds. And if you enable pre compiled headers, it's 2.8 seconds, which is 50% faster. Um, how would you use it? Um, you write a file saying, these are the headers I want to pre-compile, and then when you define your target, you say, this is the pre-compiled header that I wish to use. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to care about compiler switches or any of that, because that's already been taken care of. Uh, another technique which is uh, popular among game developers, at least, is called Unity Build. 
And it, the technique is very simple. Uh, you have lots of files, and then you compile them one by one. But instead of that, you, you have one file which includes all the others, and then just compiles that one. Uh, so this is, uh, my, in my day job, I work on this project called Uniscopes API. Uh, in that, there's a shared library which takes about eight nice C++ source files, produce a shared library. Uh, if you build it with J4, it takes 50 seconds. And if you just uh, build it in a Unit system, it's 20 seconds. And it only uses one core because there's only one GCC in location. This is about 50% faster again. Um, but should your project have four of these, then it, the normal compile time would be three minutes and 20 seconds, but it will still be 20 seconds in the Unity build because you can actually use all your four cores, um, which is 90% faster, which is kind of nice. How do you enable that? This is the GUI tool that comes with Meson. You click on the button, and then there you go. You can also set it from the command line if you want to. Uh, unexpected bonus of Unity builds is to code generated runs faster. Uh, I'm not going to go into details. If you care, come talk to me afterwards. Um, wouldn't it be cool if, if every single subcomponent in a, in a Linux distro would be 1% to 3% faster? I would like that. Embedded people might like this as well. Um, developer time is also important. So um, in my mind, every single second that anyone spends writing a build definition file is like a minute, second lost, and you can never get it back. And you should spend your life writing descriptions. So here's what a, a Meson build file looks like. So if you want to build a Qt5 application, um, it's three lines of code, one of which is divided over so several lines. So you have, uh, first you have a dependency on Qt5 and the modules that you want to use. Uh, there's the executable, source files, and the headers you want to put through mock, UI files that you put to UIC, and resource files you put through to RCC. And that's it. And this is actually a unit test from the Meson uh, code base. And this is run every single time. And this is actually shorter than the actual, just the compiler indications would be if you wrote them out. And now, uh, being fast is, is nice, but it really doesn't help if, if there's not support for other stuff. So um, that's just common care questions I usually get. So do, uh, does it have native support for coverage reports? Yes, it does. Uh, equivalent on the Autocon, where you can run these uh, test executables. It, yes, it has that. Supports Linux, OS X, Windows, and FreeBSD. And it's also uh, Apache licensed. So if there are BSD people who want to move their build system from something that's not GPL, this might be something to look into. Uh, support get text in internationalization, yes. Uh, cross compilation, yes. Uh, then there are when you compile uh, like source generators and then you use that to compile other targets, can you do that? Yes, you can. Yeah, can you do this when you're cross-compiling? Yes, you can, because you can say, okay, I want this target to be built on the system compiler, and then you can just use it in, in the actual build system. Uh, unit test, well, obviously. And you can also run your unit test while you are cross-compiling. So if you have Wine, for example, and you want to uh, install also the MinGW packages, then you can just configure that, and then it, you can run your entire test suite in a Windows kind of way, with Wine from the Linux command line, and you don't have to have any sort of virtual machines or anything like that at all. Um, automatic Valgrind support. So if you have Valgrind installed, the version will generate a test Valgrind target, which will run stuff under Valgrind. Uh, now, Valgrind is a bit slow, so it wouldn't be nice if you could run your unit tests in parallel. Well, you can. It actually happens automatically. And if you have tests which need to be run on their own, you can just tell them that this is a test that needs to run on its own, and then it's run on its own. Um, this is the, the bane of uh, distro packages everywhere. So people, when they support non-Linux platforms, what they tend to do is that they embed sources of external projects inside their source tree and then use that. And then the distro packages have to go out and rip all of that away. Now, a Mason has a concept called a sub-project. So you can take a Mason, any Mason project and you put it inside a different Mason project and then you just compile it as part of that. And it's very easy to write, so th uh, then code which says that if I'm on Linux, use the system things. If I'm on some other platform, use the embedded thing. And it just works quite nicely. Um, that's basically what I had. So if, if you don't want to spend the rest of your life watching text scroll by in a terminal, this is the link you might want to get into. There's a user manual and all that sort of stuff. And let's see. The, uh, no, so I've been. I can do a 50, with Mason, you can do a 15 minute lightning talk in less than 10 minutes. That's how fast it is. <laughs> Questions? Okay. 
Gracias. Um, can, uh, yeah, yeah. I couldn't hear it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very fast. No, no, it's the, for the for the live stream. So, so you mentioned you can get faster executables, one to three percent faster. How could you ever get that without not doing stuff? So, what what happens is uh, in the case if you do a Unity build. Uh, then uh, GCC can do more aggressive optimizations because you can see the entire program at once. So this is basically a very cheap version of getting a whole program optimization, link time optimization, by just putting all the source in one target. So but it does inlining. Inlining of stuff you couldn't think that you can inline because if you have like an accessor function, which is not defined in the header, but it's somewhere else, if you do, whole, uh, do the unity build, you can optimize that. So. So what is uh, Messon built uh, written in? So what sort of dependencies does it have? It's written in Python 3. And so the, the two different things. So Messon is a description of a build language and also the implementation of that. And the, uh, the definition of the build language doesn't expose Python in any way. It's totally its own separate language thing and it could be implemented in anything. Uh, can you pass it through? Is it also possible to use the several agents on several operating systems? For example, an agent on a Linux machine, an agent on a Mac, and an agent on a Windows machine? Uh, do you mean like a dist CC kind of thing? Yeah. So um, distributed building, in fact. Yeah, so uh, dist CC can be used. It's just, just like with every, you can use Ccache. Uh, actually, Mesin uses Ccache automatically. So if it mm -hmm. sees that you have it installed, it will be used automatically. Okay. You can tell it not to. But it doesn't use this TC automatically because it's you, know, you don't really know if you want to use this TC. Okay, thanks. Any more questions? Okay, thank you. So here's. Um, thing that you can think about later, so um, this is an analogy. So system D is to system 5 in it, as Mesin is to traditional build systems. And in, in what way is this sentence true? There was like, I think at least three different ways. If you think of more, please come and talk to me. <laughs> <laughs>